today we discuss about the staircase slab this is the question design a dog leg staircase for building height of the floor is 3.3 meters rise and thread of the step is steps are 150 mm into 225 mm respectively next uh, height of the uh, width staircase hall dimensions are 2.5 into 4.5 meter square next live load is 3 kN per meter using m20 grit concrete in fe415 steel and wall width is 230 mm which is supported the slab of the stair next the given data is now done in here height of the floor equals to 3.3 meters next rise and thread rise is rise equals to 150 mm and thread equals to 225 mm rise and thread is diagrammatically represented like this this is the thread this is the rise next note down the dimensions of the hall dimensions of the hall is 2.5 into 4.5 meter square live load is 3 kilo newton per meter square fc is 20 kilo newton per mm square fi equals to 415 newton per mm square the dimensions of hall, the dimensions of the hall is diagrammatically represented by like this one this is the length this is the width next we calculate the number of rises number of threads for that we cal we have to calculate height of the flight height of the flight is from taken from height of the stair hall the height of the stair hall is divided into two parts we get the height of the flight the height of the stair hall is 3.3 meters the 3.3 meters is divided into two parts 3.3 by 2 that equals to 1.65 meters we get 1.65 meters this is the value this value is used to calculate the number of rises number of rises equals to height of the flight by rise of the rise of the step 1650 by 150 we can get the 11 number of rises these num 11 number of rises are used to calculate the num number of threads number of rise threads equals to number of rises minus 1 then 11 minus 1 equals to 10 number of threads next we uh, assume the width of the slab width of the slab is 1.2 meters this is the assumed value next calculate the length required for the 10 steps that equals to 10 steps into um, thread thread width thread width equals in meters 0.225 then we get the 2.25 meters this is diagrammatically represented like this one this is the total width of the steps 2.25 then calculate the these two widths these two widths uh, how can we calculate the these two widths we can we we have the values 4.5 total length and 2.25 width of the steps then we can easily calculate the these two steps these two um, values then width of the landing width of the landing we have the total length of the room 4.5 minus we calculated the length of the steps 2.25 then we get the value of 1 then we get the value of 1 landing this is the 1.25 another landing is 1.25 okay these are the basic values of the state come to the main design procedure first step one is effective span this effective span is calculated from the is456 2000 code book uh, class number 22.2 .2 a effective span 
L effect 2 equals to center to center distance of the wall. Center to center distance of the wall equals one center to center distance of the wall. The value is total length of the hall is 4.5 plus 1 width of the wall equals 2.0.23 which is occurred at both ends. So, 0 0.23 by 2 plus 0 0.23 by 2. Then we get the L effect to 4.73 meters. Next step number 2. Thickness of the slab which is also calculated from the code, books, code book IS456-2000 class number 33.1. Thickness of the slab. Here we calculate the overall thickness capital D. For that, first we have to calculate the effective depth. Effective depth equals to span by 20 into modification factor. This modification factor is taken in between 1.2 to 1.5. Any value. Okay. Therefore, effective depth is represented by small d. Small d equals to span by 20 into modification factor. Already we calculate the effective span. 4.73 meters. 4730 by 20 into modification factor we take the modification factor 1.2 then we get the effective depth 200 mm then calculate the overall depth overall depth capital D uh, equals to small d plus clear cover plus pi by 4 pi is the diameter of the bar pi is the diameter of the bar then we get the overall depth 225 Next come to the step number 4. Loads. Loads are calculated per meter length. The load of stair equals to load of the waist plus load of the step. First we calculate the load of the waist. Uh, waist slab equals to this is the standard formula for the calculation of the load. 25 into d into square root of r square plus t square by t. These all values are we know. 25 already this is the standard value d equals to 225 overall depth uh, r is the rise t is the thread then we can get the 6.76 kilo newton per meter square of the load of the waist slab then calculate the load of the one step load of the one step uh, by using this formula we calculate the load of the one step pi by 2 into rt into 25 these are the already we know the values then we get the 1.8 kilo newton per meter square dead load equals to 6.76 plus 1.8 that equals to 8.56 kilo newton per meter square already live load is taken in quotient 3 kilo newton per meter square and assume the floor finishing value 0 0.6 kilo newton per meter square then we calculate the total load total load equals to dead load plus live load plus floor finishing then total load equals to 12.16 kN per meter square. By using this load, we can calculate the factor loads bending moments. Factor load equals to, we already know the um, value, uh, factor load equals to factor safety into total load. Factor of safety is taken as 1.5 for the concrete. That equals to um, 1.5 for the steel. Factor load is taken as the 1.5. Okay, next calculate the factor load. Then come to the step number 6, bending moment. Maximum bending moment equals to 0 0.125 into W into D into L effect to square. What is WD? WD is the factor load. Okay, then this is the equation for the specially for the state class problems. Maximum bending moment. This equation is derived from the bending moment and shear force diagrams then we get the value 251 kilo newton meter okay so next step number seven depth checking we already provided the depth 200 mm okay now calculate now check the depth depth checking by using this formula to get the depth whatever i whatever i whatever we provided what uh, is it wrong or right 
okay first mu equals 0 upon 138 f second b square this is the formula d is the unknown here b equals to 1000 because we calculated the r values for 1 meters so then we get the d equals to 135 already we provided 200 mm this is the value is less than 200 mm hence provide depth is adequate okay next step number 8 minimum depth minimum reinforcement this minimum reinforcement also calculated from the code books is 456 2000 page number 96 uh, mu equals 0 0.87 fy ast into d into 1 minus fy ast by f second into bd these all values are known but ast is the unknown value then we calculate the ast uh, by solving the by solving the above equation we get the ast sum 65.32 mm square this is the ast minimum main reinforcement spacing spacing is calculated by assuming the 10 mm diameter of bars spacing formula is small ast by capital ast into 1000 okay then substituting all these values then we get the spacing 100 mm hence provide 10 mm bars at 100 mm center to center spacing okay okay next step number nine distribution reinforcement this is also calculated from the code book is 456 2000 class number 26.5.2.1 okay ast minimum equals to 0 0.12 percentage of the gross area gross area is equals to b into d okay so 0 0.12 by 100 into b already we know 1000 into d 200 then we get the minimum AST 240 mm square then calculate the again spacing spacing is 8 mm diameter of bars then calculate the spacing we get the 200 mm so hence provide 8 mm diameter of bars at the rate 200 mm center to center spacing of the distribution bars this is the total design procedure of the staircase thank you